shocking president Bola Ametinibu replaces the Senate president Goswin Akwabu with Senator Oji Uzo Kalo. Wow. Tinibu indebted to Kalo over Senate presidency. This is the APC chieftain's saying. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC in Zamfara State identified as Malam Yakubu has provoked a fresh controversy about our President Bola Metinibu's indebtedness to some ruling party chieftains. Yakubu, a strong supporter of President Bola Ametinibu in a viral video, released, record how the president reneged on his promise to make a former governor of Abia State and Abia North Senator Oji Uzokalu as Senate President in the 10th National Assembly. Now, according to him, he was there in Kalu's house when our President Bola Ahmed Tinbu made this political promise to his friend and political ally, but later pinched his tent with Senator Gotwil Akbabu, the Zamfara or Progressive Congress chieftain, however, said it was not too late for the president to do the need for and keeping on his promise by ensuring that Carlo becomes the Senate president. He said, yes, good evening, everyone. This video is overdue, you see. Most of us are politicians in this country and we cannot see the truth without talking. We have to appreciate our president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, for all he has done in this country since he took over as the president in this country. But there are people he has promised and he's fulfilling some of them and he is not fulfilling some of them as well i was opportuned to be in the house of the former governor of abia state senator oji uzokalo when his excellency our president bola Tinibu, came into the house and we all ate and drank together the senator's wife cooked for every one of us that day we ate good food that day and the president told him, please do not run for president. Go back to run for Senate because I will make you the Senate president. All Jews or Carlo agreed and he ran for the senatorial position. And looking at it today, Mr. President in the person of Bala Metinibu, is not fulfilling that promise he has made to Senator Oji Uzokalo. Now, most of the financial crisis we are having today is it is only Senator Oji Uzokalo who has the capacity and the experience to negotiate with the international communities and to negotiate with the local investors, to negotiate also with every stakeholders and make sure every challenge we are having today come to an end. Carlo has done his part. President Bola Metinibu should pay him back and the time for that Senate presidency is now, is no other time. Mr. President needs somebody like Senator Oji Uzokalo. People think that as a young man and as a former governor, he has money. He cannot be controlled. He's not going to be loyal. No. Senator Oji Uzokalo is a very loyal person. 
to have opportunity to know very well he's a very loyal person because i have the opportunity i know him this is the chief then saying in the viral video going round. he also further stated that mr president mr president should remember when he was having problems with President Olusegun Obasanjo, how Senator Oju Zokalo helped him to win his elections in Lagos after the 1999 election when he was coming in in 2003. He was denied the right by President Obasanjo. It was only a Senator Oju Zokalo who stood by him and he was the only alliance for democracy AD governor who won the election as at that time because Senator Oju Zokalo supported him strongly. He backed him up. The chief then further stated that if today such man you said you are afraid of him, you cannot trust him with the Senate's presidency, who else will you trust? You need somebody that can build this country with you. You need a man that is highly influential and internationally recognized that can talk to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and talk to other international bodies for African investment to grow. We cannot be rich and be poor. And President Bola Metinubu is working harder for growing this country. And if you are working harder to grow this country, you need Senator Oju Zokalo as a Senate president. He is a very well-known person, a very capacity person. Someone who can go around with you to make you get what you are looking for. He further stated that his advice for President Bola Metinibu is this, that they should all work together with him, that is Oju Zokalo. That he was a member of AD and he himself, being the chieftain speaking, worked with him as well. And he campaigned for President Bola Metinibu. That we love, he loves them. But he and his other chieftains want to want the president rather to keep that promise he made to Senator Juzo Carlo in his house telling him to step down that he should not run for president, that he will give him the Senate position as the Senate president. Today, you are, f you are not fulfilling the promise. That's what the chieftain is telling our president, Bola Metinbu. I do not want you to listen to any people telling you wrong things about Jusokalo, that Ojusokalo is the only man that can grow this country with you, Mr. President Bola Metinbu. We want you to review your stand on this matter. Thank you very much, President Bola Ametinbo. This is Senator Oju Zokalu telling the president. Now, we all know who Oju Zokalu is. He's a Nigerian politician, a businessman, who is the Senate representing Abia North Senatoria District. And he once served as a governor of Abia State from 20. 29th of May 1999 to 29th of May 2007. And Ojo Zokalo is the chairman of Slock Holding and the Daily Sun and New Telegram newspaper in Nigeria. And prior to the election, he served as the chairman of Bono Water Board and the chairman also of the Cooperative and Commerce Bank Limited. Ojo Zokalo was also a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Also, he was also part of Progressive People's Alliance, PPA, and the chairman of the board of trustees of that Progressive People's Alliance. He was the party's presidential candidate in the April 2007 general election, and he is currently a member of the ruling of Progressive Congress after he officially announced his resignation as the PPA's board chair. Now, Oji Zokalu 
also contested in 2019 in the Nigerian general election to represent the people of Abia State in the Senate and running under the banner of the progressive Congress. And he also defeated the incumbent Senator Mao Umbawi with over 10,000 votes. These and so many other things we know.